was an idea to bring together a group of diverse talent to see if we could become something. So when the industry needs us, we could find creative solutions to their business problems. Tane, snap out of it, snap out. Uh, oops, sorry guys, I got a little carried away. After all, with great power comes great responsibility. And with this responsibility bestowed upon us, we welcome you to the 17th Foundation Day of Regalix. Welcome, welcome to, to BRICS 2021. 2021. We are your hosts, Shairi and Nick Fury. Uh, Pranay. <laughs> And we are going to take you on yet another incredible journey of what we achieved and uh, the possibilities we have uh, on a not so serious note. Let's start from the start, where it all began. Like all superhero stories, our Supreme League was born when the cosmic energies combined. Let's take a look. Previously on Bricks. You all know Vikas, right? He met up with Nimish. Enter Babla. Together with an A-team beside them, Regalix began expanding. 16 years has been a long time, but hey, this is just the beginning. The Supreme League HQ Regalix Universe. The superpowers of the Supreme League are in a great discussion. Outside, there's chaos. They were there during the dot-com boom with the right solutions when they established the Venture Incubation Center and the Digital Marketing Agency. Now, it's content boom time. The right strategy was to build a content studio. They decided to form a special task force. They went on to conquer some of the biggest planets in the universe. The League didn't stop at that. The next step was to scale up the business. Enter AT. They decided to bring their expertise to the SMB business. And that's how they won Google. Times change. The multiverse was looking for end-to-end -end customer lifecycle management. The Supreme League, along with the superpowers of the multiverse, provided customer service and sales enablement. The League went on to set up an in-house product strategy on sales enablement, which evolved into a full-fledged entity called Nitro.ai. This is how the Regalix universe brought the USA Europe, India, and the Asia-Pacific into its fold. Today, it serves top brands with the best customer experience and helps them generate revenue. And it only plans to grow. May the power of the league continue. Woohoo! What a Marvella story! Behind every superhero, there's a super force. Let's hear it for our very own Stanleys, Vikas Sharan and Nimish Vora. Over to you, Vikas and Nimish. Hey, Vikas, <clears throat> are you there? I can't really see you. The only person who's waving today. Okay, great. <laughs> so, Vikas, let me start off. I have a few questions for you. And the first question is, since the theme today is superheroes and there are tons of superheroes in our organization, tell us a little bit of what, what makes a superhero? What are the attributes of superhero? So if I look at it, uh, superheroes uh, perform act of service. They uh, go clean out uh, the city, they solve crimes, they do all wonderful things, expecting almost nothing in return. And uh, uh, what better act of service that uh, than uh, than this? And if I look around at Regalix, we are surrounded by superheroes who perform act of service every day, day in day out. If you look at it, uh, teams at Google, teams at uh, Red Eight, teams all across the board, every single uh, one of them, DoorDash, everyone, they're involved in. Uh, providing acts of service to small and medium businesses globally, 
helping them do better, earn better livelihoods, especially in such uh, trying times that we have gone through in the last uh, year, year and a half now. So the two superheroes are all here. So Gas, how do you want to summarize it? You're saying, you know, doing these acts of service makes, you know, all of us superheroes, our team a superhero? Absolutely. Great, I think that's that's a great summary. Um, I want to add to that. I want to, you know, talk about two attributes, which I believe are uh, critical for a superhero. But before I come to that, let me uh, thank the entire Regalix team for the hard work that you all have put in uh, through the whole of last year, especially uh, in the context of COVID. And I think it is challenges like these and overcoming these challenges that makes all of you superheroes. So with that, uh, you want to add to that, Vikas? No, I couldn't agree more. Uh, superheroes are really born when uh, challenges arise. And Absolutely. Uh, this, that's a testimony to uh, point out so many of us uh, exist within the galaxy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so let me, uh, you know, come back to uh, pointing out two critical attributes that I think a superhero, superhero has. And uh, the first one I would say is lead by example. A superhero does not wait, in my view, uh, for somebody to come and solve the problem. When a problem arises, when a challenge arises, uh, the superhero is there at the forefront, solving the problem, uh, overcoming the challenge with whatever uh, tools, technologies, know-how that the superhero has. And I think a shining example of this that I have seen uh, at Regalix is Shrini. In, um, in my time with, you know, the time that I spent with Shrini working with him, I have seen given, whenever a challenge arises, whenever you throw a challenge or a problem at him, he's there in, you know, leading from, from the front, solving it, doing whatever it takes, you know, uh, being up in the night, uh, doing whatever, you know, getting up or not sleeping at all, getting the team together, whatever it is, he's always there to solve the problem and be there at the forefront. So that I think is a critical attribute of a superhero. The second attribute that I believe is staying the course because challenges will come, new challenges will come and we might not know how to solve them. We might, we might not have the know-how or the technology to solve it. But if we believe in the cause, if we believe that you know, this is a problem that needs to be solved, the superhero will, will remain, will, will be at the task. And again, I would like to congratulate uh, Dhruvam and his Dodash team, because that's again a great example of how uh, you know, the superheroes there have solved that problem. Because when Dodash came in, in the beginning, people thought it was a lost cause. You know, it, it was there, the, 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 there were so many problems, where there were process problems, there were hiring problems, there were diff different kinds of challenges. And <clears throat> we were getting a poor database, bad database, not, nothing was working. But the team stayed the course, uh, the leadership team stayed the course, and they tried everything that they could. It did not get solved in two minutes, it did not get solved in two weeks, not two months, but it took like, you know, maybe six months to solve it, but they did solve it. And I think that is, again, a very critical uh, attribute of a superhero, uh, staying the course. So two things, one is leading by example, the other is staying the course. With that, I'd like to, uh, Vikas, we want to add to that. Uh, just a quick uh, uh, anecdotal uh, uh, feedback. Uh, yesterday, I was at dinner with somebody who uh, was competing with us at DoorDash. And uh, they had only good things to say about uh, how they lost to us uh, uh, in that uh, bargain, and how sophisticated and well our team had stayed the course to make it successful. So a good round of applause to everybody there. And superheroes don't necessarily have to wear uh, costumes every day, uh, day in, day out. You can recognize them just by turning your heads right and left and uh, uh, and all around you. Great, great. I think that that's that that that's very heartwarming to know from you know our competitor directly from. Oh, she does wear the costume from time to time. 
<laughs> yes, I, I, I know some of us do. So with that, let me pass the baton back to the host. Uh, we are super excited to uh, see what unfolds in this super event. Back to you guys. Thank you, Vikas and Nimish, for sharing your thoughts with us. Now, let's point our focus on the heroes. Heroes. It's an old-fashioned notion. Uh, let's recognize our achievers for what they have done to help the Regalis universe grow in our BRICS 2021 award show. But most people dream of winning Circle of Excellence Awards. I always dreamt of hosting it. Welcome to the fourth Regalix BRICS 2021 Awards. Let's honor the superheroes of Regalix, the creative minds, the talented leaders. Let's take a look at our first award for tonight. Our first award is for someone who has adapted to the speed and the need of the business goal, stepped up from a trainer's role to handling operations. A people's person, his hands-on approach has made him an effective problem solver and has won the client and team's respect. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for. Congratulations, Rakshat. This will reach you shortly. Our next award is for a superhero. The best metaphor that can describe this person is an unpolished gem has transformed itself into a sparkling diamond over the last few quarters. He re-engineered processes, made his team excel in their areas, foresaw challenges and took proactive actions. Clients were always bowed by him. And he has been a go-to person for peers and supervisors for any concern. He is the all-rounder any team would want. Let's give it a huge round of applause too. Congratulations, Atik Jain. Your trophy will reach you soon. For our next award, we have someone whose team has been one of the top performing teams quarter and quarter on all fronts. His valuable contributions include implementation of Gong Pilot, creating customized email templates and creation of dashboard to track pilot success metrics, co-team member of RPL and success stories. Any guesses? Well, let's find out who's our next superhero. your trophy awaits you. Our next award is for someone who is the general leading an army, the perfect leader. An out and out regalis loyalist who constantly works on bringing the agency business. He takes up any challenge with a smile. Diving into high level escalation calls, coordinating with other teams for solutions, handling disgruntled end customers. There's never a dull moment in the builders program for him. Let's hear it for Congratulations, Shiva. Your trophy awaits you. Congratulations, winners. And it's not over yet. Circle of Excellence will be back. Stay tuned. Moving on, as you all know by now, this year it's all about diversity. Diversity in culture, diversity in collaboration, diversity in position. I'm so proud to be a part of this diversity that Regalix cultivates. Absolutely. But before that, why don't we introduce the guardians of Regalix? They are visionaries, symbol to the galaxy. Heroes of the world. You mean to say the offices around the world? Uh, did I lose the plot? As a matter of fact, you did. Never mind. Let's welcome the teams of Regalix from all over the world. The Zendarians from Pune. <laughs> Team Nova from Hyderabad. Team 
Hey! Hey! The Titans from Bangalore. <laughs> from all the locations, the Guardians of India unite. Let's hear them say, We, we are Rogues! <laughs> Master VK, the Batman from Canada. It's not who you are, but what you do that defines you. <laughs> Our very own Iron Man from Manila, Simeon. Do we have Simeon on the call? Let's move on. The Guardians led by Thor of Warsaw. Yes, guys! <laughs> <laughs> and our Justice League from our US office. Hey, Ron. <laughs> One hell of an introduction. It's amazing to see so much superpower. This brings me to the introduction of a bunch of Regalix leaders. The entire time I knew them, they had only one goal, to grow Regalix. They were instrumental in accelerating the momentum for our new customer relationships, and diversifying our portfolio. With a huge round of applause, please welcome Babla, Tabesh, and Ruvam. Hey, thanks, thanks for, for that. I think it's so exciting to talk to everyone out here. Uh, we do it uh, once in a year. We would probably want to do it more frequently later on, but so excited to connect to each one of you. Uh, quite frankly, as Namesh just mentioned, you all are superheroes. We are living in unusual times, but the amount of resilience you all, each one of you have shown uh, to keep the spirit high, keep things going, it is so fantastic. And absolutely. And what initially looked like a daunting task back then and during COVID times quickly transformed into world-class operations, remotely managed, parallel to, you know, second to none. And uh, it's actually completely because of the mind-blowing execution from the teams on the ground. Yeah, sure. And, and, and uh, as it goes in this section, we want to sort of share uh, with each one of you just a recap of what happened in the last uh, 12 months. So first of all, we expanded. We went to new locations. Uh, we are now present in Krakow. We are present in Manila. So welcome to the team from these two cities. Welcome to Regalix. And, and, and there, to add to that, there's so much of buzz uh, because of the new programs. We have a much diverse portfolio today with Facebook, DoorDash, Essence, MX Media, amongst other uh, programs. And the overall service after offering with the uh, with the clients for the clients is so much better today. Yeah, sure. And then, and not to miss out on, of course, the whole core pillars of what we have been doing for so many years. A big shout out to guys in the digital team. That's where we all started. Uh, folks on UMM, TAG, Odyssey, Reddit, and everybody out there. I mean, I mean, you guys have kept the relationship and the trust with our customers so high. Uh, it's just that that we're leveraging to expand into a new horizon. So thank you guys. Well done. Brilliant. And how can we forget the pillars of strength in the back end? Uh, the employee success team, the finance team, admin, IT, info, information security, LND teams, quality and compliance, the program management team, all of you have done a stunning job. It just does not focus on improving the uh, employee experience, uh, but also overall sophisticated, uh, sophisticated, providing a much more sophisticated service offering uh, for the customers. So thank you, everybody. Yeah, and, and uh, Tamesh is not here. So Dashan, could you just step in and just talk sure. about what we're doing on our positioning side? Sure, so these are exciting times. Uh, proposition as pioneers in the revenue operations is resonating really well with our uh, with the target market. Our uh, focus on creating top line for our customers is uniquely positioned, and uh, there is a lot of values our customers are seeing. So we're working on rebranding ourselves for, for for this new market, and you will see you will soon see a new um, a website, new view of the website, and uh, stay tuned for in, in a couple of days, right? So and then yeah. So we yeah, have a lot of exciting times and, and uh, we are all excited. I hope you guys are too. And uh, uh, let's make sure going forward, we have much more fun filled moments as, as we move along. Over to you, Shari. Thank you. Thank you, Pavla. That was truly inspiring. Like Pranay would have said, that moves ever upward and onward to a greater glory. Regalix is growing. Even during the pandemic and with work from home, new people were onboarded, thanks to our HR and IT teams. But did you ever uh, see our new joinees? Will you now? Hi, my name
my name is Shakil Ahmed. Uh, I have been with Regalix uh, almost six months. Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Khan and I'm the Senior Consultant at Regalix Incorporated. Hello, my name is Akamsha Singh Rabat and I'm from Canada Scale Market. Hi, my name is Dale. I am part of the Essence team. Hi, this is Jagdish from Digital India. I am Kanimali from Digital USA team. This is Kiran from Canada Digital team. Hi, my name is Vilma Feleshano. I am part of Essence team. Hi, my name is Zishan and I am from the US Digital team. Hey guys, didn't see you there. Hi, so I am Paul and I belong to the Digital US team. Hello, I am Claudia. Uh, I am from Poland and actually I am since one month at Regalix. Hi everyone, my name is Shudha Keshwani. I'm working as a senior consultant in Regalix. Hello, my name is Tanvi Niranjan. I am from the Canada Scale Market. Hello, I'm Radek. I live in Krakow and I recently joined the Regalix. I'm Nassim uh, from Regalix Digital Team. Hi everyone, my name is Rachel. I'm with uh, the US Scale Market. Hello everyone, my name is Tural. I'm originally from Azerbaijan, but right now I'm working for Regalix in Krakow office. This is Manoj here from US Digital Team. Hi, my name is Amin. I'm originally from Morocco. Hi guys, uh, I'm Prakash. I'm a content writer for uh, Digital USA team. Hello, uh, I'm Christoph. Uh, I come from, from Krakow. Uh, I live uh, also in, in uh, Ria. Hi guys. I'm Tanya from Digital US team. My name is Rafael. I'm working here since the 1st of September. Um, I'm responsible for calling German customers. Hi guys, my name is Artek. I'm from SES Hello, my name is Veronica and I have joined Regalix in September. New joinees, welcome to Regalix Universe. The world may change and evolve, but one thing will never change. We are part of one big family. It's not only the new joiners who are now a part of Regalix family. We are now a multiverse of Lord of Universes. Um, okay, I should probably stop talking now. Shaili, you can take over. Thank you, Pranay. Let me quickly take this opportunity to once again honor our heroes. Let's see who are our next winners. He is always ready to take on new challenges has the maximum newbies whom he manages with extreme care and calmness, handles the entire scale team, works on the productivity for all EMEA, and takes care of PGA part of the entire EMEA. He has handled five team leads in a stint as an AM and collaborated with the quality MIS team to ensure the performance is up to date. He has been the key force behind the UMM EMEA success. Ladies and gentlemen, can we hear it for? <laughs> Your trophy with you. Our next award is for someone who has grown from a rep to a manager in her seven years of experience with the organization. She takes care of UKI and USBL team and works seamlessly with both of them and collaborates with the support staff to drive performance. Uses different approach to a problem, knows the process in and out, has been the key person to hold the fort in absence of a leader. She took ownership of getting the USBL team to meet numbers and has been successful in doing that. Folks, give it up for. Congratulations, Vijayshree, your trophy awaits you. Moving on to our next award, our obsession with the calming art of terrarium building has never failed to complement our projects. Excellent attention to detail with a unique, impactful touch in whatever she does. Her expertise in design work has always been commendable. She is committing, committed to achieving 100% client satisfaction. For projects with complex deadlines, she's the one we can always count on. No prizes for guessing, let's hear it out for... Congratulations, 
Devlin, he will be sending this job to you. He has made IT function in tandem with the business teams. As a team lead, he has earned the respect of his peers for his supportive and encouraging nature. He has also groomed up the team to take up the next level of IT activities. His determination makes him an outstanding candidate for the team. He is committed to his duties, drives the task to closure, and is always on time with innovation in its thoughts, which has resulted in positive business impacts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for. Congratulations, Hemnath. Your trophy awaits you. Moving ahead. Wow, what a great feeling to be amongst heroes. Truly, truly amazing. May the Supreme Intelligence be with you. The Supreme Intelligence guides me all the time, just like it told me that we have unfinished business here. To hear it from the superheroes who are on a critical mission. The only mission to make Regalis Universe a beautiful and a happy place. With many initiatives for employee success, the Wonder Woman of Regalix, Tanya, Shanta, and Marilyn. Over to you, girl gang. Yes, Yay. thank you, Pranay. Um, well, women power indeed. Uh, while you see just the three of us on the screen right now, but we are representing the entire women workforce of Regalix. Uh, I think that's a very good balance number, right, Shanta? What is yes, that? We are at 45% of 1600. And uh, isn't that diversity well represented? Wow, that's more girl power to all of us. Yeah, yeah. cheers to all the women of Regalix. Um, along with that, I would like to uh, welcome all the new joiners. We saw some of them in the AV just now. Uh, and that is 25% of our colleagues. Um, and I'm really glad that the, how well you all have assimilated uh, in the organization. I know we haven't been able to um, interact face to face, uh, though we do have some of our offices already operational uh, with a well laid out SOPs. Uh, which are those ones, Shanta? We are partially open in Poland, in uh, Bangalore, Pune, and Hyderabad. Um, with, of course, like, you know, in compliance with the protocols. Uh, we are also looking and like, you know, looking forward to like, you know, how we can uh, open up our uh, other offices. We'll keep you posted on that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think all the guidelines which have been laid out, um, it's also responsibility of all of us to adhere to that. Uh, and I'm sure, yeah, we will be following all the protocols. Um, well, uh, in this uh, whole period, I'm sure many of you will agree, and uh, even for Marilyn and Shanta out here, um, I have also probably in the last one or one and a half years have gone through these phases of highs and lows and, you know, feeling of uh, little uncertainties. But uh, the multiple programs uh, on well-being, uh, employee well-being, which have been organized by Regalix, um, I have really benefited from them. Uh, what do you think, uh, Marilyn? Absolutely, and then that reminds me, I one of the sessions that I completely resonated with uh, was the mental well-being and uh, the program through employee assistance program. I think that was the need of the hour. Uh, while uh, with, like you mentioned, with the highs and lows and the uncertainties, um, that was the need of the hour and definitely gave me a perspective to channel my energy and my thoughts. And I'm sure there are a lot of more other programs that we have in the assistance program, right, Shanta? Yes, yes, uh, Marilyn. Um, people wellness is definitely one of our priorities. I myself attend all these, uh, like, you know, programs. These are long running programs and they are here to stay. I hope everybody, like, you know, uh, attends those. Uh, we do a lot of programs on uh, mental wellness, ergonomics, uh, financial wellness. And if you have any other suggestion, guys, like, you know, feel free to write to employee success and we'll try our best to incorporate them. Yeah, that would be really wonderful, Shanta. Uh, and this virtual environment has also opened a lot of scope on talent development. And we have been really able to achieve a lot in this area, isn't it? Absolutely. And I'm really proud to say that in the last year and a half, 
we've seen amazing response a lot of our people from different roles have been trained and we've rolled out many certification programs a couple of programs that all of you might know is our first level leadership program that most of our homegrown leaders have gone through our, our frontline supervisors we've also very recently in collaboration with our leadership rolled out the second level leadership program which is a manager development program while we're excited and proud about all the achievements we really thrilled to say that we've covered about 55% of our population in these wow, certification wow, wow. programs. So kudos to everybody Some on that. achievement out there. And I think, Pranay, uh, you would agree, this is exactly the time we will take a pause and unveil the next awardee. Absolutely, Tanya. We have an award for the High Flyer of Regalix. She has been instrumental in setting up the L&D function of Regalix. Her agility, quick implementation skills, and fitness and execution have helped us make speedy progress in setting a learning culture in Regalix. With focus on shaping the desired culture, fostering new ways of thinking, developing new behaviors, and dividing strategic opportunities, the LND team has been able to successfully launch multiple programs and initiative across all levels. Some of the programs have been well appreciated by the clients as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for. Thank you, thank you. Well, since uh, she's sitting right next to me, so I would uh, definitely like to hand it over. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. This is a and team award and I'd like to thank the entire team and also the business for supporting in all the initiatives. Appreciate it, truly appreciate it. Yeah, this is for definitely for your entire team. Would you like and to name them? Tosil, Shreemoy, Hasita, Monica, Swaroop. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. And I know this is not possible with all of without yeah. all of you. Definitely. Thank you. So uh, while, uh, you know, all these formal uh, programs laid out by LND are definitely very, very important, we also have uh, some informal channels of learning. Um, Viral, why don't you add on to that? Absolutely, Tanya. Uh, in, our, in our endeavor to, you know, learn from each other, we have multiple channels that, you know, we've opened up for our employees today. Uh, one of them being Coffee Launch, you know, where, you know, employees can share moments, they can share their successes, they can share a lot about you know, what's happening in their projects, which is a good uh, platform for all of us to know. Uh, outside of this, we have Humans of Regalix, where we get to know about a key journey of an employee, uh, some of their uh, success that they've you know, uh, had over the years, uh, not just with Regalix, but outside of Regalix as well in their personal spheres. And we also have uh, ThinkX, which, you know, is, is a platform for informal communication where, you know, we can share our interests, we can share our hobbies, we can talk about our passion. And it's, it's a platform where, you know, we can get literally the entire world of Regalix together uh, from all different locations. People can share anything and everything that they want. Uh, and, you know, it could so be possible that you could probably be taking up another initiative at Regalix as part of your passion that you want to be driving. So some of these, what do you think, Chandra, from your end? Totally, Viral. Uh, I, I can't uh, agree more uh, than that. Uh, Coffee Lounge is such a great example uh, where, you know, the most new journey to Babla, to Nimish, to Vikas, everybody on one single platform to showcase, uh, you know, the moments that really matter. And it's learning through these experiences that, uh, you know, uh, re really uh, matter. And from a, you know, from a talent perspective and, uh, you know, the passion of our people, that's, that's what really counts. And, uh, you know, we, we have so many other programs and new initiatives that we have planned for the coming year. And uh, we would like all our brand ambassadors, which is each one of us Regalixians, uh, to actively participate and take this to greater heights. And, uh, you know, I, let's take a moment to thank, uh, you know, just, just not these uh, initiatives, but BRICS as a program itself has evolved so much. And, you know, it's come, uh, it's, it's getting greater and greater every year. And, uh, you know, let's take a quick moment to thank all the people behind this, starting from Gauro Srivastava, who is not with us, but... Uh, his, you know, his immense contribution to this particular program is great. And Soma Bhattacharji, uh, you know, who's really worked hard for uh, uh, this particular BRICS event. And the entire creative team, in fact, you know, who are mostly behind the scenes and uh, our hosts each year who have done a fantastic job. And uh, Pranay and Shairi is, is just doing an amazing job in, uh, you know, the superhero team that we are doing. 
Uh, and a big shout out to uh, you know our employee success admin and IT teams from uh, US, Manila, Poland, and India. Uh, you know, who've been behind the scenes, but have really uh, exceeded all our expectations every year. So a big shout out and a big round of applause to all of them. Actually, uh, Darshan, do you think we're missing someone? Yeah, absolutely. As in, uh, you've named everyone, but except the person behind uh, the production. So I would like to uh, ask uh, Shari or Pramay to call Karthik in front of you guys, please. Absolutely, Darshan. Karthik. <laughs> Guys, so this is the guy who is behind the screen all the time. Okay, <laughs> come on, man. Okay. He's yeah, so shy that he doesn't want to stay. He's so shy, Christopher Nolan, around here. So, yeah. Right, Karthik. Karthik. <laughs> yes. Here's my name. Uh, he's uh, the, the BOP, you can say, right? The guy who puts things together. So thank you very much. And I'll give this to you when I meet you in a couple of days. Thank you. Absolutely. Come and say thank you in front of the screen, please. <laughs> <laughs> and right. back to you guys. Thank you, team. That is so much warmth. I'm so glad to be a part of this universe. In fact, I've never witnessed so much diversity being practiced at one place, be it in the methodology of work or employee care or cultural diversity. This is what makes uh, Regalic's universe vibrant. Don't believe me? See for yourself. She not only made sure that the pilot was a success, but also opened doors for other post-sales projects. Based on the MSC team's performance, we got storefront, DDFW, alcohol onboarding, and POS integration projects. She has been overachieving the targets month on month, 
and has pushed Regalix and clients to increase her targets. She's an awesome people manager. Let's give it up for her. Congratulations, Sudha. Your trophy awaits you. Well, given complex projects, her keen ability to think through the best way to deliver exceptional results is highly laudable. She is spontaneous and fast. Talk less, work more has always been her mantra. Her eye for detailing, unique approach to problem solving, and valuable insights on design trends are well worth appreciation. She's a multi talented individual. Her quality of work has helped us to move up the ladder of creativity. Okay. Give it up for. Congratulations, Namita. Your trophy awaits you. Thank you. Moving on to the next award. Okay. Moving on to the next award. We have someone who has been an integral part of the Cluster 3 business leading the entire MIS workload. With different complex businesses within the vertical, his ability to get into the process depth and strategize long-term data dashboards is one of his key strengths. Despite the immense workload, he never backed out and was always there to support, build, and keep simplifying the entire data representation for the whole cluster. He indeed is one of our most valuable leaders. Okay, people, let's give it up for. Congratulations, Siddhani. Your trophy awaits you. Moving ahead to our final award, he has been part of the MIS team and has worked hard in helping his team excel. He has analytically blended himself with very strongly to slice and dice the data resulting in easy consumption of the data point access all across level of business functions. With his never back out attitude, he has always been there to support, build and keep simplifying the processes. Let's hear it for. Congratulations, Anil Raj. Your trophy will reach you very soon. Bravo. Congratulations, heroes. A huge round of applause for the winner. You are here to make your own future. Mm, you know what I mean. I hate to say it, but we have, end, uh, we have near the end of the show tonight. It has been an immense pleasure to be amongst you all. I can feel the energy, the superpowers around me. Wow, this has just been great. What's this, Superwoman? Can't agree more. I would like to thank the Regalix family for making the BRICS 2021 a success. Thank you, Babla, Tanya, Girish, and Shanta. Thank you, all the teams joining in from all the corners of the world for making this possible. Without your guidance and support, this would have been a task. Thank you, Vikas and Nimish, for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you, leaders, for encouraging us with your stories. Thank you, behind the scenes, admin, and IT teams for putting this event together. Thank you, one and all, for being here tonight. May the Supreme League conquer more universes like we've always done. But before we go, just wanted to say, wait till the end. Okay guys, now that BRICS is over, let's uh, seriously look at the strategy for this organization. So what do we cover today? Uh, we have multiple things to discuss. This requires food for thought. I think there are four different perspectives. Food for thought. That I want to cover, let me just elaborate on that. Beer for thought. Mmm, food for thought. So let's get cracking. How about the pizza? Nein, food for thought.
Veg or non veg? Beer Bruh. Babla is giving bloopers for next year Founders Day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to do that. Hey, Babla, you have to give us a bloopers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like a century ago. Oh no, not again, Rene. Stick to the script. We are ending the show. There should be a balance. What starts has to end. Okay, I'm done. And I am invisible. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you so much. Great show. Thank you guys. Really thank show. you so much guys. Really thank you. Thank you. And thank you for everyone who are there online. <clears throat> Great to connect again and we'll meet up hopefully sooner than a year. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Good morning. Have a good night. Have a good morning. <laughs>